Let's get reaction now from former acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf on this. Chad, thank you for joining us. Listen, uh, Joe Biden initially blamed the Trump administration at the same time rolling back all of those immigration rules that the Trump administration had put in. That's false. He then calls this a normal, uh, a seasonal norm, I think is the term he gave. That is false as well. And now he says the border is closed. Clearly, it is not. This administration refuses, it appears, to accept the reality of what's going on on our southern border. Well, I believe that's right. And the reality is the crisis that is occurring today is a self-imposed, self-inflicted crisis by the Biden administration and the policies that they pursued over the last four months. What we know is we gave them a secure border going back to 2019 and 2020. We had put a number of policies in place that made that border secure so that the images that you showed they knew the cartels and the smugglers knew that they would be apprehended and returned back either to Mexico or to their home countries rather rapidly within hours. Today, that is a different message being sent. The individuals that are captured, uh, particularly the ones that give themselves up, that claim asylum, will stay here in the U.S. for months and even years uh, before they see a court date. And those are two very different messages, two very different policies being pursued. And, but it's also a security issue, as, as those pictures showed. Mm. What we know is that the cartels push large numbers of migrants across the border to tie up Border Patrol resources while they then smuggle uh, drugs and other contraband on other parts of the border. And so it's a very dangerous uh, and it's a security issue that the Border Patrol is overwhelmed at the moment with. They certainly are. Uh, Chad, what should the Biden administration be doing right now? Well, there's a number of things that they can do. They can reinstitute what we call the migrant protection protocols, which is making sure that we give folks the ability to apply for asylum, but that they wait in Mexico, that they wait outside of the United States for their immigration court date. What that does is it not only speeds up the process, but it, it takes that fraud and abuse. And when we instituted that program, what we saw was many, many individuals starting to leave that program. They had no intention of waiting in Mexico for their immigration court date. They had no desire to wait for that court date. They simply wanted to be inside the United States again for months and years to come. They can also reinstitute mm. construction of the border wall system. They can do a number of things that we had in place on January the 19th that were keeping this border safe and secure, keeping the law enforcement men and women of the Border Patrol safe and secure from COVID. They've torn all of those down and they have not replaced them with anything uh, resembling enforcement of our immigration laws. Well, I find really strange, Chad, is that there were predictions of this when he made his campaign promises, Joe Biden, if he became president, what he was going to do. Uh, the predictions for this surge were, 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 you know, they came out months ago. So why has this caught the administration so much by surprise? I don't understand. Well, it's not only that. I mean, we, we briefed the incoming Biden administration during the transition period, so into December, certainly into January, and we gave them uh, all the information that they needed, that Border Patrol would be overwhelmed, that HHS facilities would be overwhelmed, that they would have large numbers that we're seeing today of both minors and family units. They knew exactly what was being predicted if they chose these policies. But I think to answer your question is, this is what they intend. This is the types yeah. of policies that they intend to do uh, to, to draw these individuals in, to bring them into the United States. And right now, they're simply trying to process these individuals as fast as, as humanly possible. Instead of addressing the illegal behavior, the illegal activity that's occurring at that border, all they're trying to do is right. facilitate the process and get these folks Ugh. moving through facilities quicker. Uh, I shake my head in despair. <laughs> Chad Wolf, thank you so much, Chad, for joining us today. We do appreciate it.